Hey everybody, here I am with another video. Since my um, Windows 98 video with the difference between Windows 98 first edition and second edition is doing pretty good. So I decided to come out with another one doing this time with Windows 95 with all four versions explaining. Even though I'm going to be doing two versions with I got OSR 2.0 and a 2.5 virtual machine up. With, uh, and I'm going to explain the, some of the differences just like I did with the Windows 98 video but before before I power these virtual machines on I'm going to tell you what version of Windows 95 that that's actually out there you got Windows 95 RTM which is the original Windows 95 that came out in August of 95 then you got Windows 95 OSR 1 which is version A which comes with Internet Explorer 2.0 and you got Windows 95 version B, which comes with Internet Explorer 3.0 and a few, fixed a few bugs just like OSR 1 did. And the only difference is on the boot screen on OSR 2.0 and 2.1 and 2.5 is it's got the Microsoft Internet Explorer portion on, underneath Windows 95. And, in, 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 like I was saying, like, OSR 2.0 comes with Internet Explorer 3.0, while OSR 2.5 comes with Internet Explorer 4. So let's power on OSR 2.0. Just ignore that message. And yes, I do have the Plus Pack installed. You may wonder why it looks like Windows 98. It's of course that Windows 95 OSR 2.0 and version, actually version A and B, and especially the RTM and Windows NT 4.0, the Windows desktop update became optional, and I decided to install install it just to give it that kind of Windows 98 feel. And of course, this is version B in it with Internet Explorer 5.5, which I'm going to explain the upgradability of what you can do in both in all versions of Windows 95. The highest version of Internet Explorer you can actually run, like I mentioned, is 5.5 with Service Pack 2 installed. And surprisingly, you can actually install Windows Media Player 7.0. In all versions of Windows 95 but you're gonna have to have Internet Explorer 4 or later and you're gonna have to have DCOM 95 installed but otherwise it works perfectly fine but there is a hack that you can actually modify and install of 7.1 to install 7.1 but 7.0 just works just fine and you can actually install Office 2000 which is the last version that supports Windows 95 But you get to hear the epic startup sound that was composed by Brian Eno, which was a six second little piece. The online services is still the same. And you got the an older version of the MSN Explorer, which is known as the MS Microsoft Network, which unfortunately that doesn't even work. Of course, it's an, an old operating system from the 90s. What you would what, what to expect, but once you install, if you have the Windows Desktop update installed in Windows 95, and you enable when you install the Windows Desktop update, and you install actually when you if you have it already installed, when you upgrade to Internet Explorer 5 or 5.5, it gives you the ability to give you more options into Windows Explorer menus and even allows you to quickly customize the quick launch bar to your preference and yeah this does have the plus pack installed and of course version B is build number 1111 
and I'm going to talk about version C, which I got a virtual machine of, so, so let's go ahead and get into version B, I mean version C. You may notice in the boot screen where it says like Mike, if you have the plus pack installed, where you can uh, let me adjust that for you guys to see. So you may notice in the virtual machine where when I said micro, where I said Microsoft Plus on the Windows 95 boot screen, there's a little difference in the RTM in version A. It just says strictly Windows 95, but if you have version B or version C, it would just have Microsoft Internet Explorer because Microsoft was integrating Internet Explorer into Windows later on. But Internet Explorer 1.0 came. If, the only way you can get Internet Explorer 1.0 if you had the Plus Pack. So you may notice a slight difference in Windows 95 version C. They do offer you a revised version of the Microsoft Network. And we're just going to cancel that. Because that don't even work anyway. And of course, you may notice... Still say the original build number 950, except it's got 950C instead of 950B. But to determine the actual build number, if you do like a DX Diag command and run, and of course you could run up to DirectX version 8.0 version 8. In Windows 95 version C, you do have some copies of Windows 95 C will actually come with Internet Explorer already installed. If your if your copy has Internet Explorer 4, which will give you the Windows desktop update, but it's actually optional in version C, depending. But if you're not a fan of the Windows desktop update, you can actually remove it from Windows. Because it's not like Windows 98 where it's completely integrated into Windows. And all the same programs that from uh, that's work that works that I have on Windows 95B actually will work on version C. Of course, the only difference is is just a lot of bug fixes and adds USB support to Windows 95, despite it in, including the uh, Internet Explorer integration. But on the clean and stuff, but if you don't install Internet Explorer 4 and Windows 95C, it just gives you Internet Explorer 3.0. If you do like a clean bare bones copy, and this one's actually got Office 97 because I use this one for for old games, so. This is just a little short video explaining the difference between the versions of Windows 95. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. And if you want to share a little information of what, you, or share with the difference between each version of Windows 95, you can feel free to leave them in the comments. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this little short video. And thanks for watching.